Hi y'all, welcome back to the farm. Today, I'm standing next to the new to me toolbox. I've always really wanted a toolbox. I got tools scattered all over my shop. And honestly, this is something I've been looking forward to as a place to keep all my tools together, but also be able to roll around my shop to whatever I'm working on. Oftentimes, because we work on so many different projects in the shop, we have to be able to move things around like tables, tools, whatever it is we're working on to accommodate what we're bringing into the shop, be it like a woodworking project or a truck, a tractor, uh, an implement, whatever it is we're gonna be working on, we have to be able to make the shop accommodate for that. So I'm really excited to get this new to me toolbox. It's red, it's my son's favorite color. So what I wanna do today is get it cleaned up. This toolbox had a good life before it came to me. The guy I bought it from, super nice guy, local, he just upgraded to a huge Craftsman toolbox and he didn't need this one anymore. So as you can see, it's uh, it's got some grime on it. That's to be a cuss, that's something you can expect from a toolbox that's worked as hard as this has. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna clean it up. So we're gonna start by taking each of these pieces apart and really focusing on the outside, getting the outside cleaned up, especially all the deep, thick grease that's on here. But then we're gonna look on the inside, especially on this top one, and get this cleaned up too. If we have to paint it, that might be something we do in a different video. But for the time being, we'll just get the outside of this thing cleaned up. I'm gonna be using a product called Super Clean. Um, Folks at Superclean actually sent me this. They said they wanted to, me to give it a shot and I thought this would be a good project for it because this is an all-purpose cleaner. Of course, full strength, it's a degreaser, but they give you instructions on how to dilute it to clean different surfaces around your shop or around your house. So we're gonna use this as a full strength on some of the, on some of the thicker grease, but we're gonna dilute it with some water to wipe down some of the bigger surface areas. All right, let's get to it. Now to start off, I took all the big pieces apart. So I was left with the rolling cart, the top part and the side table. I just put the side table and top part on the sawhorses over here. And now I've got all three of these pieces separated. So I'm gonna start working on them individually. So I'm gonna start by adding, by making a diluted, diluted solution of super clean. I'm gonna add about three parts water to one part super clean. And that's gonna be what I use to wipe down a lot of the general, a lot of the larger surfaces. Perfect. All right, now that I've got my solution here, I'm gonna go ahead and start by wiping down all the bigger surface areas. Oh, this is gross. So on this back side, must have been up against a wall or something, but there certainly is a lot of grime on that. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and use the concentrate on this area here. and then get a wire brush out. Oh, you'll love to see that. All right, let's wipe that off now. Yeah. yeah, buddy. I tell you what, let's do an experiment. We'll find the next grimy place we find. We'll just spray some super clean on it and see if it doesn't just, see if it doesn't just come off itself because even that area there in the middle, that came really clean. This was the side that the table was hanging off of. So that grease line right there is just where that table was collecting grease. Ew. All right, let's hit that again. While waiting on that to dissolve, we'll brush off this top. And this top has a lot of built up grease. This top has a lot of built up grease. So we'll just spray this stuff. I mean, get real in there. We dusted all the dirt off with the uh, soft bristle brush. But now that we got access to this top section, we're just gonna get that in all the corners. And I mean, just like you would expect from an old mechanics toolbox, all of these corners right here are packed with grease. Just absolutely gross with it. Here, while we're doing that, I'm gonna spray down the front. So that's soaking. And we're gonna spray down the inside compartment too. Cause I'd really like this thing to come out super hot, super clean. All right, cleaning out the inside here. We're just spraying it down right now. We're not getting anything washed off yet. We already wiped this down 
one side with the uh, diluted solution. I'm going to get the back two. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm excited about this. Look, that stuff's all just gone. This stuff in the corner is pretty thick, but that stuff on the, on the edge just came right off. All right, let's hit the wire brush in there. Sweet. Let's get some of the stuff wiped off, see what it looks like. Yeah. We're probably gonna need to give this a good hosing off at the very end. That's already right, looking a million times better. I'm gonna get the sides washed, uh, wiped off real quick and then we'll move on to the top. Oh yeah, man, that is disgusting. That is great though, that, that is all coming off. Again, that is probably gonna need to get hosed off, but I mean, most of that, most of that thick stuff is coming right off. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of figured it would come clean with like, like anything, like I even, I almost used dish soap on this thing, but this down here would have been pretty gross with just dish soap. Sweet. Let's move on to the toppers. Again, general spray down of all the surfaces. Some of this stuff, this table is pretty gross. Getting plenty of it down there, all right? In the back, this back is actually really clean, but right here where the grease would have gathered between the toolbox and the bot and the, uh, and the table is pretty grody. And then there in the hinges, cause this thing all folds up here in the hinges, it's pretty gross. So we got all that sprayed down. All that sprayed down. There was a sticker here. We'll see. Let's see how this stuff takes the sticker goop off. Get the handles. Those grubby hands touching those handles. Nothing left to it but to do it. Let's start wiping it down. All right, ready? Nice and nasty. Oh, look at that. You got a, a sticker. You got what's left of a sticker coming off right there. Oh yeah, this is getting really, this is going to be perfect for repainting. All right, we'll get the top washed off. Next thing I'm gonna do, spray them all down, get all that super clean off. Now that I've hosed everything off, I'm going through all the drawers, all the sides, and I'm just getting a lot of the standing water off. I don't want any water sitting on this, especially since there's some bare, bare metal places. So just to prevent future rust, I'm just gonna wipe up any excessive moisture, and then I'll leave it out here to dry uh, overnight. And now that's all wiped out, let's put it back together. Now I'll tell you what, this ain't this old girl isn't gonna win any beauty contest, but this is a lot better looking than when I first picked it up. Bunch of the surface grease has been knocked off, bunch of the old paint's been knocked off. Any place that the paint was loose, we've cleaned it away. And right now this thing is probably the cleanest it's been, I don't know, for as long as it's been in service, um, except for today it was new. So now we got this far, like I said, I wiped it all down. You don't want this super clean stuff to dry on the surface. So after I sprayed it down with the hose, I wiped everything down with the cloth, tried to pick up as much standing water as I could. But like I said, this is great. It looks awesome. A lot of the surface uh, grease has been knocked off and this thing's probably got, I mean, a couple of decades in it. I don't know until the wheels and drawers give out, I guess but I'm pretty excited about it. Anyway, thanks for coming along on this quick video while we clean this old toolbox up. And uh, comment down below if you have any questions about the toolbox or about the super clean product that I used today. Um, or if you don't like what I did, if I totally screwed this up, 
let me know about it. People seem to never be afraid to. Anyway, thanks so much for coming along. I'll see y'all next time. Bye now.